Whoa, you gotta burn your butt. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Scooter shenanigans, he seems pretty cool, and let's face it, leeches suck. In honor of the new game release, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, today we are breaking down and reacting to all of these shocking medical scenes and colorful injuries from Super Mario Bros. Don't be hooked on the brother. Let's dive right in. Hey, we get the, oh, <laughs> I didn't know that actually happened, so just evaporated all your skin. What happens when you get electrocuted? It all depends on the amount of energy that you're getting. Most of the time, the electrocutions are AC currents versus DC current. Things that I worry about as an ER doctor are cardiac arrest. Cardiac arrest. Is there enough energy that causes your heart to stop? Oh, a cactus. Oh, man. I live and work in Southern California. We are down by the desert. There is cacti out here. We do see people who come in with these splinters. There's a huge range. Very small ones versus very big ones. Big ones, small ones, some as big as your head. Don't just keep running into the cactus. <gasps> <laughs> the other issue sometimes related to cacti is sometimes the milk juice from a cactus can get in people's eyes and that can cause major issues as well. So you have to irrigate the heck out of them using eye wash stations and then actually doing an exam to make sure that there's no injuries. I've said it many, many times, a major trauma or something that's considered a major trauma is falling greater than three times your height. It doesn't mean that there's a massive injury occurring, but because of the mechanism, it can lead to major injury. So it's just high level of suspicion. Whoa. Leading us right into the drowning aspects. Drowning versus near drowning. When somebody actually has a drowning, that actually means that they died. Near drowning means they actually survived. If you have water in your lungs, you can't do gas exchange where you're exchanging your CO2 and oxygen and, and red blood cells. If you don't have that normal mechanism, you're not getting oxygen to your tissues. There's a lot of ways in this game to actually get injured. Crush injuries, we see those quite often in the emergency department. Fractures, dislocations, muscle breakdown, rhabdomyolysis, and compartment syndrome. Wonder if it's related to a toxic plant poisoning. There's lots of different like toxins out there that are from the environment. There's a lot of medications out there that were actually derived from plants that are not harmful, but there are plenty of things out there that are harmful. Ooh. He survived the water, now he's freezing the water. Okay. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Being in super cold water, a lot of things can happen if you're in there for too long. Obviously, hypothermia. Different things happen as the degrees go down. Different functions start slowly not working. Wow, that cold plunge did not work out so well for Mario. Whoa, you gotta burn your butt. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Buttock burns. In the butt talks. We actually worry about perineal burns as well as groin burns. The perineum is a place between your butthole and your genitals. So if you're having burns to that area, you need to be treated at a burn center. <laughs> We see a lot of head traumas and head injuries where people do pass out. The biggest thing we worry about when they wake up, make sure that they're not continually having symptoms. Meaning, are they altered? Is something not working? Are they profusely vomiting? He gets more power by having like a mushroom. It's a mushroom. My team and I developed a real life power up type mushroom equivalent. Our product is called Level Up. No Mario crashes for any of you. Check out lifehappens.com. What are these things? Are those balloons behaving like leeches and like sucking his energy life out of him, AKA blood? Did you guys know that a barber used to actually do bloodletting? That is why the barber has the strip with like red on it. <laughs> leeches are actually still used in medicine, trying to bring blood to the tissue. So they actually put leeches on to try to draw blood to the area. Oh, he's got air. Oh no, running out of air. The ability to hold your breath varies greatly. Most people, what can you do? Like 30 seconds? If you can get to a minute, that's pretty good. You have to train yourself over time to be able to do this. Get to the surface. No, we're, we're good at that. 
please be careful if you're attempting to learn how long you can hold your breath for, but it's actually good to work on lung expansion because it's actually a muscle in your diaphragm. Oh, little scooter action. Oh. Not wearing a helmet, gotta wear a helmet. Actually advise full gear, like gloves, jacket, pants, boom. Oh. I feel like Super Mario needs to have a parachute option. Throw a backpack on there. Backpack, backpack. I love this ice skating thing. Wow, frozen. Cryopreservation, you see it in movies, not something we deal with in the emergency department. We do deal with people who are super cold and the worrisome of their cardiac arrhythmias. When somebody is in cardiac arrest and they are hypothermic, we say, you're not dead until you're warm and dead. It's cryopreserved. Somebody is hypothermic. The bodily functions and the processes that are going on in the body as a protective measure. If you actually warm them up, there actually could be more electrical activity going on and somebody's heart may actually restart. Is it a toxic area? Toxic exposure. There are a lot of different gases out there that are benign. Benign. Nine and a half. In the immediate sense, long-term effects, obviously, sometimes you don't know. At the hospital, we have what's called a PAPR, which is a type of personal airflow device. And then we actually have N95 masks. Yeah. Whoa. The X is over the eyes. That's gotta be some sort of historical thing where that actually came from. If somebody knows what that means, let me know in the comments. Oh, jeez. Getting burned does not feel good. Obviously there are different levels of burn injuries, first degree, second degree, third degree. And then I've talked about fourth degree burns in the past. These include very much deep tissue. Super Mario has a lot of drowning injuries. It made me want to drown things. Does everybody know how to swim out there? It's a really good life skill to have if you don't. Oh man, this looks like a reptile. <laughs> Yep. Oh, we got a T-Rex. I'll never forget, me and my wife were watching Jurassic Park. One of the dinosaurs gets shot by a bullet. The dinosaur survived because the very superficial bullet was removed out. That's Hollywood. Removing of a bullet typically does not cause anybody to be saved. Super Mario, there's things that I could pull out of here that totally relate to what we do every day in the emergency department. Also, big new things on the horizon. Check out my brand new supplement company, Life Happens. If you guys like that and you enjoyed that, definitely hit that like button. Definitely check out this playlist right here. And as always, make sure you subscribe and turn those bell notifications on. Thank you so much for watching and stay healthy, my friends.